Welcome! This video answers the first question of my second global warming quiz. Links to the first quiz are listed in the description section below. Question 1 deals with the oft quoted argument that all the planets in the solar system are warming, so global warming is being caused by the Sun. I will be addressing the other planets in future quiz questions, but for the moment let's take a look at Mercury and see if it is warming. Here is question 1 as I originally formulated it. Question 1. True or false? Mercury is showing signs of global warming. Why look first at Mercury? Well, it is the closest planet to the Sun and thus should be the most affected by changes in the Sun's output. Unfortunately, Mercury is not easily observed from the Earth because it is close to the Sun and makes rare appearances in the dusk and dawn skies. In fact, I have only seen it twice. However, several spacecraft have gone to Mercury which will give us some information about how the planet has changed, if at all. There are claims that all the planets are warming in general and that Mercury is warming in particular. For example, because we can look at all the planets and the Sun and see changes just like we see on Earth. And I'm going to show you a little bit of that. Mercury has grown a magnetic field when Messenger went by in 2008 that was not seen in the 70s with Mariner 10. That's a big change in Mercury. That video by David Wilcock was the only source I found that gave a specific reason why all these people think Mercury is warming. So let's examine Wilcock's claim and see whether it holds water. He says that the Messenger spacecraft has detected a magnetic field on Mercury that was not there when Mariner 10 flew by in 1974. Messenger did indeed observe a magnetic field on Mercury, but Mariner 10 is credited with discovering Mercury's magnetic field, so it is nothing new. Even if Mercury had developed a brand new magnetic field in the 35 years between the two space missions, why would that have anything to do with global warming? Here on Earth, the same skeptics that are claiming that a tiny increase in the Earth's magnetic field may be causing global warming are now claiming that an increase in Mercury's magnetic field is causing global warming there. They can't have it both ways, I'm afraid. Messenger has shown two things about Mercury's magnetic field. One, that it is stable. Secondly, Mercury's magnetosphere, the projection of that field into interplanetary space, is highly variable. Is that what is confusing David? Perhaps. But even that is a well-known phenomenon. It has been observed from Earth using UV telescopes for decades, and more recently from the stereo spacecraft. We even know why this is occurring. The solar wind has fast and slow streams, as well as transients called coronal mass ejections. These changes in the solar wind buffet Mercury's weak magnetic field, making it stretch and snap back almost continuously. We see the effect of this in the rapid variability of the shape of its magnetosphere. So what is the correct answer to question 1? Well, it seems to be that we don't know whether Mercury's climate is warming, cooling or stable. The temperature of Mercury varies hugely depending on where it is measured and when. However, the evidence cited for Mercury warming is certainly completely wrong. So the solar system warmists stumble at the first gate with made up or misinterpreted information. The most likely scenario is that Mercury's climate is not changing, as we have no reason to believe that it should be. So if your answer don't know, give yourself maximum points. I'll be putting out the answer to question 2 shortly. Keep safe. Bye for now.